It's over. No, it's not. There's more. Another wolf behind you. Ignore him. He always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't. When they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything. Not one thing. And besides, watch out. Wolves! This will be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the red bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Wolves! Run! Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Help! Wolves! Yellow bean. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, refers us the truth. Mm hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each, and Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah, fine. Let's get to work. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped the duck egg in the swan's nest once, that sort of thing. Stole the pea out from under the princess. Who sleeps to this day, I think. to show off his new robe.
Take it easy. Contract from a goose. That's new. You really aim to concern yourself with that? A true witcher should never abandon poultry Care in for distress. A Remind me, what tale are you from? Sort of flints when I was a lass. But no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Magic beans. Do you have any? If it's not the new name of some kicker I already have, dearies, then no. But maybe you'd like some. Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find us keepers, sweetheart. Give Sianna the ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, of course. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? for the ribbon. This enough? It's enough. Now... All right. Tell me. What? What you want in return. You're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Don't want anything in return. I... Hmm. Thank you. Exquisite robes, uh. words never seen. Watch out, pixies. I shall butcher you. Three little pig songs. Well, you know the story, don't you? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Looks like big bad's already blown down the houses of straw and sticks. Brick's the only one left. We should look inside. Remember Joss's words? Mm -hmm. One bean lies out in the open, guarded by three nobodies. Yeah, that could be it. Doesn't seem to be at home. A feather, broken. There was a fight. A feather, broken. There was a fight. A feather, broken. There was a fight. A feather, broken. It was a fight. Goose feathers. 
Must have been flapping its wings. Or did it just get plucked? Watch out! Pixies! Hey, there, in the trees. Some kind of camp? Here it is. Got it. Good thing you posted that notice. Never would have found you otherwise. Oh look, she laid a golden egg for you. <laughs> If only all my employers were that generous. Would have preferred a magic bean, but not about to complain. Did you really travel all the way here for a contract? Nature of the job. Find the bees. I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But, 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 what brings you? Listen, looking for me... I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Ah, right there, the threats. Sianne to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, little red riding hoods 
poked her claw. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, and filled it full of rocks and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Food now rots at the bottom of the well, she and the hunter, which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you, not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him, or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. A piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. J Jump in the well. Break a leg. Any luck? Yep. Look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Not a problem. Sienna can take her place. What? Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter, come closer, sweetie. But, Grandmama, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. The better to embrace you with, my dear. And, Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? Hey? The better to eat you is, my dear.
remember what Joss said about the red bee. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, the corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. In your shoes, I'd have myriad questions. For instance, Siana, whatever became of you after they drove you out? But you, nothing. You avoid all talk of it. Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear about it. The flower of Toussaint's nights took me all the way to the Ketu wilderness and left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees, a campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me, or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader. Of the whole ragged band. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. and ruby red slippers from a tale about a wizard from off here you might not know it four animals stacked atop each other what was the tale called again the musicians of Blaviken. Huh. you have some link to the town as well don't you mm -hmm. but my tale's not much like this one Strange. Doesn't look like he's out of any fairy tale I know. Wonder how he got here. In past times, Honorietta and I would occasionally run into them here. You see, knights errant far outnumber princesses in the real world. So some knights would sneak into the plague and then into this land in search of their fairy tale damsels. Only to be shredded to bits by a swarm of pixies. It's delicious.
three bears. Three stools, three beds, three bowls. One a bit too big, the other too small, a third just right. Blonde curls. Rest of the body's too mutilated. Hard to say anything. She got what she deserved, as I see it. Always took what she wanted without asking. No bean here. Gotta keep looking. That's one bean down. Good work. One beam down. Good work. Without the wisp, I think it's got something to show us. Careful, it's not to be trusted. This long log's tower? Indeed. It's even taller than I remember. Wait. What Joss said about the third beam, remember? 
in the possession of a bald farmhand somewhere deep beneath the ground. Yes, this must be it. Let's go. It always grapple up her braid in the past, but I don't see it anywhere. We'll find another way up. Could pull myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here if it's all the same. Climbing's not my strong suit. Prince's corpse. Tried to free long locks, but fell and broke his neck. Stumped to climb all that way for nothing. So? Got the bean, but long locks. Mm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Dead love was a tool, and only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. Got a history with Detloff now, so this. M I can handle him. Mm hmm. Sure about. You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I. I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more.
One beam to go. Concentrate. One beam to go. Concentrate, Geralt. Big bad witcher huffed and puffed, and look, got a beam. It cannot be. What cannot be? You actually have a sense of humor. <laughs> Why so shocked? Well, when you arrived, all you did was pout and mumble things in that graffily monotone. And now this, a jest. And a good one at that. But here we are chatting away when there's work to do. The beans won't plant themselves, you know. Now we must plant them by the path near Longlock's tower. Then prepare to meet the giant. So, you like it here? No. Got a problem with magic in general. Illusions, portals, all that. Don't trust any of it. A bow of old-fashioned tastes, eh? I like that. What have you got to like I said? Wasting time here, Siana. Let's go.
out the beans. Wait! Why? The stalk will sprout abruptly. Very abruptly. We must be careful. All right! Toss them! Something's always got to go wrong. The home stretch. Admire the view later. First, we must deal with... ...him.
a fairy tale creature. I was one tough son of a wench. They told you this land had gone eight mad, though I did not expect it to be so severe. Can't help thinking you might have done that on purpose. Why ever would I have? To get rid of your guard, your captor. Getting close to the exit at this point. Probably think you don't need me anymore. Well, you're wrong. You still stand to be quite useful to me. And so? How? Plan to use me like you did Deadloff? No, I need you for a purpose more simple. Well, don't just stand there and stare. I need a man, Geralt, and I'm not afraid to say it. I have no idea what awaits me once we leave this place. Treat it as my last wish. Just gonna go our separate ways. No parting words. Did you wish to tell me something? Actually, that'd probably be best. Oh my. No woman's ever treated you this way. Not that I recall, no. In that case, at last you felt what so many women in this world feel at times. <sighs> I just hope this tale has a happy ending. For me, for you, for everyone. That may very well be. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing beyond what you heard. For now. Come. The exit's this way.
Yes. Why do you want the heart of Toussaint and the ducal wine? Mm, right. My Jew. Doubt we would have figured you out if you hadn't tried to get them. Know that, don't you? I do. I regret nothing. One lives but once. Here, we need but jump into the well. You first. in a fountain? Not terribly practical. It was a secret passage. Anariette and I would use it to... Hide from your governess. Which luckily she noted down in her diary. Thus I knew where to await you. But never mind that. Has the young lady agreed to help clean up the mess she's made? She has. And stop treating me as if I were a child. Would you prefer I treated you like the lying manipulator you are? Regis, what happened to your famous manners? Apologies, I forgot myself. <clears throat> Let's go. Really want to be done with this. Nice place, isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Is it, though? A ruin like any other, I think. Ah, uh, so sensitive. So aware. Honestly, what did Declaf ever see in you? Perhaps he'll tell you himself. Let's get ready. Dedloff will be here any moment now. Siana, Siana, I have a question I must ask you. Did you truly feign it all? That which bound us was a ruse. Dead love. It's not that simple. I... Oh no, it's very simple. You either deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. What? But how? The ribbon. Ha, seems I've been fooled again. 
She will pay for this sooner or later. She will pay. You never should have meddled with that.
Leave him to me. Be gone. I can't let him. I insist. a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. Rather not bicker about taste. Don't like to. It's neither interesting nor productive. This particular Witcher has an inborn intolerance for formal occasions. Yet he's to attend just such an event shortly. I expect that's the source of his prickliness. So try not to take things personally, Master Taylor. Rather pity him. For in truth, stage fright overwhelms him. He trembles at the thought that he has no notion how to behave in the presence of Her Grace's Majesty. Hmm. As well he should. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else, which calls for lordly glistening triviality, and misplaced generosity. Hmm. Ceremonies, medals honoring virtues, just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either, and I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory, after all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victim's names to Declav. Perhaps we missed something.
Could be worth checking with the boot black again. Meet you by a stand. Fine. I shall await you there. Shoot the breeze with the charming lad to pass the time. The boot black? In the lower city? Intent to soil my masterpiece in the city's gutters? Promise to be careful. <laughs>